Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage, and today I'm at the Ten Pin Antique Mall, where I'm gonna work on my booth space today. So let's head on inside. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is actually put these little sticker labels. They're stickers. They're gonna go right on the item, just like here, where we have the tags. Um, these are all retrofitted, so I already had my handwritten tags on all of these, and then I went ahead and just put the stickers right over them. But going forward, they're gonna be stuck right on the item like that. So these actually do peel off pretty easily and they don't leave any sort of residue. So that's a good thing. But um, these are all new items that I just brought in and I've got space like all over right there. Some shelf space down there and there, there, over there. So, this shelf, I'm actually still out of breath. I'm trying to like force myself through it. I just ran all the way from the back, from the front to the back. Um, because I'm like really energetic right now. So, the shelf and the shelf. Those two. I pulled, that's my other booth, from this other one here. They were in a line back there. Okay. So, everything in this booth is pretty much, like, dramatically, like, a dollar, dollar, a dollar. I've, all, I've already noticed a few things I've sold, which is really great, um, but there's still a lot of it that's not selling. Um, I'm just trying to get rid of a lot of the stuff. But yeah, for sure, a lot of, a lot of items have sold. Um, and then I already sold a giant bookcase that was right here really happy about that um but yeah these a dollar a dollar these are glass insulators all of those and then I moved some items over to this booth so this yellow shelf that one that was not there but it's so good because I fit a whole nother shelf in here I moved things around a little bit so you have like this little pocket right here see you can kind of do your thing or you come around like this so before that was right in the center and you can kind of walk on either side of it but it's not really necessary so I was able to fit a whole nother shelf in here really happy about that um, and there's some room in here too see so I do have some room to put more things in this booth too Okay, so I obviously did not bring enough stuff because I've got tons of room still. Um, like, these are not even full down here. I just have that in front of it. Um, so, I can bring like at least three more, two or three more totes and be fine. Um, and I think I still actually should be pulling some of these things out because they've been in the booth for too long anyway. Um, like, well, I don't know if I'll... I really should probably just mark them down. Mm, I think I'll do that actually. I don't know. I always wonder what to do with some of the stuff if I, um, if I want to clear it out or I technically still have enough room that I don't need to worry about clearing things down. But um, yeah, I guess I'll do like a little tour right now. We've got salt and peppers right here. Um, some Hall Jewel tea. This stuff is slow, so slow to sell. And I had some of it on line and it was selling pretty slowly as well um bowls and things like that corel not doing very great over here but i think i might have it priced too high like 40 dollars for all of that and then this one here um well look 20 dollars for all of that it's not selling either so in general corel is not doing too swift over here at the mall um i yeah i i don't know these have been here for a while too and they're not selling $25 for this large one, 15 for the smaller. I might mark them down. The ornaments are selling pretty well, um, around $2 a piece. They do really well. Um, like these are Christmas, they need to probably come out. $4 and $4, they didn't sell. Um, some milk glass items here, some transferware, other things. I just moved the green things down because they were up here with all the Christmas, so now. 
they moved they're moved down and then i have all my pictures and things like that these aren't selling either they've been here forever um but i put them up high and i marked them down a little bit like this one i had i think 20 dollars on put 15 on it silver overlay crystal pictures things like that so model planes stuff like that those are slow movers as well although mm, a few have sold but I decided to mark them down so 650 and yeah um, just lots of that kind of stuff glasses things like that nautical items down here um, just a mixture <laughs> the 50s booth is over here and then we've got you know all the fun things in here kitchenware salt and peppers that's the remainder of my salt and peppers I don't have any more over here I pretty much moved them all out of here and put them um, well this was this was full I put them all over there on that little one that smaller shelf these are slow sellers as well the towels very disappointed on that um, and I even put them on eBay so if you're interested in any of those towels they are on my eBay okay uh, the, the soap is slowly selling down very slowly at 350 per bar which is just barely more than what I paid for it but that's fine because I want to make my money back at least um, these they don't really sell either but here they are fun vintage towels 70s they're very random so I wouldn't really want to put them online because they're not like a whole set of anything and I have them probably priced too high at four dollars for a washcloth but it's a beautiful washcloth I don't know I should probably mark those down to like what like three dollars for a washcloth and the dish towels they're awesome lots of fun ones um just juice glasses things like that pyrex bowls pyrex set rando pyrex up there canister sets are not moving for some reason 34 maybe that's why 34.95 is just probably too much and then 25 for that one I don't know uh, 11.50 for just this and then another 11.50 for the mugs not moving they've been here for a while this has been here for a while honestly it looks like nothing ever sells but at the end of the month I notice how many things have actually sold and it's so surprising um, it's never the stuff that you think is going to sell. Got planters. I have sold a few planters. I know that because this used to be all planters and now it's like whatever that is. It's a mess. I need to probably move that around. Got wood pestles just hanging out. These go to these. Like that. It's part of a strainer set. Figurines are slow. They sell though. I mean I've got really good prices on these. 250 but most of the time they've got like a chip or something on them that's why they end up in here for those prices like like 650 on this it's because he's missing his little paint up here and here and here and so there's there's reasons for some of these cheap prices 850 for those two her paintbrush is broken um we'll see if it sells for that but yeah that's what the 50s booth is doing right now Got some Hazel Atlas Platinite down here, which is not moving. And then we've got some plastic wear, very fun luncheon set, some cool trays. I have a problem buying trays. I've got these awesome retro trays. There's like three pack here for $12.99. And I've got this bake light one right here. And then I've got this pink metal one right here. Then I've got this yellow floral one right here. I know I've got another. Showed you all of those. Oh, then I've got this blue one down here, very nautical. Beautiful. And I think that's all my trays in here. But yeah, this is the 50s. We've got chalkware. All this is chalkware, pretty much. Fun, fun things. And then here in the middle, on the rolling cart, I've got all of these individual, and they are selling. Uh, they sell every couple days. I'll see a couple sell. So that's good. And I've got them priced at about $3 each. I think a lot of the red ones are sold. 
Look how pretty these are. Mm. All that work in those. These here, cookie cutters, they also are selling really well at about $2 a piece. So that's good. Um, I've got like cigar boxes and things like that. They, every now and again, will sell for me. Um, yeah, I mean, I've got room. I've definitely got room in here to put stuff like that. That's all empty. I've got some space up and through there. Um, yeah. And then again, I'll show you this third booth. <laughs> what a mess. This is like terrible. Look at the stitches on here. Someone was learning how to sew or something, and this is kind of ratty. Um, I've had this for too long. Nobody's buying it. It's priced too high, I think. I put... Where did it go? I thought it was on here somewhere. Oh, here it is. $20. That's probably too much. The smaller one here, $12.50. Um, yeah, well, maybe I'll mark those down. Christmas, random Christmas stuff. I got this for free, so I'm not worried about it. That was part of an auction lot. I marked it down from $30 to $6, and it works. Originally, it was $60 at Venture. Oh my goodness. Um, hey, closeout sale. That, that fell off. Put it here. But, um, <laughs> yeah, white spindle shell, $15. Get rid of that thing. I remember painting this in my backyard. Ugh. Um, <laughs> I don't have the patience for it. I think that's like one or two coats and it looks like crap. Look, you can see all the paint lines and everything. And then I didn't feel like painting the middle so I put contact paper down. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Um, I need to sell this curio here too. And this thing, I put $35 on it. Um, I'd like to sell it for that, it'd be nice. And then I marked this curio down to $50. What a deal. And then this thing, $15. What a bargain. Uh, this one here, I put 35 on. Because it's pretty darn cool. It's, it's a pretty unique looking thing. Whatever it is, I don't know, but it's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, this booth is slowly coming apart. 